Welcome back to Paper Highlighter, where we dive into the latest drama from 90 Day Fiancé that keeps us all hooked. In today's video, we're focusing on the ongoing struggles between James and Mytalia as they navigate their marriage while living in Indonesia. It seems like James has reached his breaking point, and a major decision may be looming on the horizon. Let's break it down, 90 Day Fiancé. Stars James and Mytalia are facing ongoing challenges as they try to build their life together in Indonesia. After two and a half years of marriage, James had hoped to find work in his wife's home country, but he's been met with unexpected unemployment. To make matters worse, Mytalia's family business hasn't been able to support them financially, adding to their difficulties. James is also feeling the pressure of trying to fulfill promises he made to Mytalia's family, and the strain is beginning to show as the stress weighs heavily on him. In the latest episode of 90 Day Fiancé The Other Way, tensions reach new heights as James hit a breaking point amid on ongoing struggles in Indonesia. The reality star proposed returning to the U.S., where he believes he can better support his wife, Mytalia. However, Mytalia strongly opposes the idea, setting the stage for potential conflict between the couple. Meanwhile, several Reddit users speculate that moving back to the U.S. has been James's plan from the start. Some even point to the fact that he never sold his car in the U.S. as evidence that he may have always intended to return. One fan wrote, I really feel like his plan was to go there and pretends like he was going to move but eventually try and persuade her to leave and go back to the U.S. That's why he wanted to keep his car and why he didn't look into how to move the dog more. I totally agree. At this point he's left his brother and the family business in the lurch twice now. They just may not take him back. Too unreliable. Another commenter said, if she had an overactive thyroid condition, U.S. doctors would be more than capable of treating it, even if she preferred her herbal miracle teas or whatever. Plenty of Chinese medicine doctors, herbalists in the U.S., who could have given her the same thing. James was an elevator mechanic, so, in theory, he should make a solid living. I agree with you that they just don't seem to manage their money or lives well and think your theory that the show was a way to get an extended TLC-funded vacation makes total sense. James disappoints Mytalia's parents. James disappoints Mytalia's parents. One of the key challenges James faces in Indonesia is his inability to keep certain promises to his in-laws, particularly regarding the renovation of their home. Due to this, James and Mytalia were forced to move into a bare, empty room that resembled a prison cell. Although they have been gradually working through the renovation, it's just one of many hurdles James is struggling with. Another major issue is his difficulty finding a job, as he lacks proficiency in the local language. Adding to the pressure, Mytalia informed him that her parents don't provide financial support to family members who work in their banana chip business, leaving James without the support he had hoped for.